Welcome to episode 73 of the current Backloggers. The date is July 14th. I'm your host, Casey P. Along with my good friend, host, Derek W. Uh, I can say D-dubs on here. I don't know. Some days I'm in a good mood, some days I'm not. Trust me, I know. <laughs> Everybody just salt themselves. <laughs> this is the good one. <laughs> oh, yikes. I don't want to see you in your <laughs> bad mood. <laughs> I don't want to see you at all. Oh. I'm here see what obligation. I obligation. Mean? Well, I guess. Again, Cody isn't here, sadly. He will be back at some point. Maybe. Shit. I thought I was probably dressed it so it didn't seem like he was just replaced, but he's been busy with a ton of work and whatnot, so that's why he hasn't been here. <laughs> so how have you been, Mr. Dubs? I've been fantastic. Yeah? Um, Mr. Pugs. <laughs> Do you like my nickname, Sea Pugs? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Cool. I'll call you Sea Pugs. I'll be D Dubs. Yeah, root in time. I've been fantastic. Yeah, what have you been up to? Just chilling, working, Sea Pugs. Um, playing some games, you know what I'm saying? Watched a movie, so. one single movie. I realized I was about to say movies, but that wouldn't have been accurate. Um, That's pretty much it for me, Sea Pugs. What about you? <laughs> Well, I said last week how this was hopefully going to be my gaming week. As we'll get into it later, it was not my gaming week at all because there's a lot of other stuff. You've had a weird week. <clears throat> yeah, I have, and then normal stuff and some fun stuff in between there. So I um, did my normal working, did some more Uber Just eating. normal working? Oh, sorry. Uh, a lot of overtime. Oh, okay. I was about to say, that's weird. <laughs> and even more going forward. But eventually we'll of slow down again. Why would you ever need free time? God forbid you have personal time. <laughs> Anyways, now I did a little Uber Eats. More work, yeah. Fill it up, see pugs. <laughs> so I went to a McDonald's picking my order, right? Yeah, I know how this goes already. The inside was closed, so I went through a drive thru. I always go through the drive thru with McDonald's. Well, it says pick up in store, so I just try and follow it. I know they probably don't care. I just usually follow what it says. I just hate getting out of my car. <laughs> And a lot of times the drive through line is longer than the That's inside. That's true. But I pull up, and I'm like, I have an Uber Eats order for whatever. And the girl's like, I'm sorry, what? And I was like, oh, she must not heard me. I was like, I have an Uber Eats order for whatever the name was. So a door dash? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Then pull forward. Okay, it's... It's Uber Eats, but all right. That's why I didn't say DoorDash, because it's not DoorDash. But sure, you get the points. So I'll pull up. Um, I just don't know how somebody who works at fast food doesn't know if it is. And McDonald's usually does numbers, don't they? Like, yeah. Oh, tell me the numbers. She didn't even ask for that. Nope. Yeah, she sounds like a keeper. She sounds like she's going to make it far in that business. But besides working, I did have time to do other stuff. Weird. Yeah, I went to Cincinnati. Since nasty. That's right. I went down there and we stopped at CC's on the way down there. I saw you gotta do it. I was jealous. <laughs> then we went to Big Bone Lick State Park, which couldn't awful sound name. more dirty. Yeah, it's an awful name. <laughs> but it's a really cool state park is in Kentucky, so we left Ohio to go there. Big Bone Lick. There's also um right before you go there, there's a beaving, beaver lick trading post so you're looking bones you're looking beaver you get best of both genders and big bones even nice um and then came back up to ohio because we went to cincinnati to go to hell is real which is columbus crew versus fc cincinnati everyone knows what that is that's why i'm explaining it but everybody should yes no, I, um, did, I didn't know either i'd ask <laughs> <laughs> and it's called hell is real because halfway between columbus and cincinnati if you're on major highway there's a giant Hell is Real sign. Very good religious sign they're doing there. Good promotion of religion. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, um, everybody thinks it as a negative thing, as you know. So they turned it into a cute little name for the rivalry, which I appreciate. It's pretty good, yeah. Yeah. And then this was my first time. Cincinnati also just built a new stadium that opened, I think, three games ago. So Is it nice? Being objective, is it nice? No, it's really nice. Um I think the cruise is better, but 
I've only been to each of them once. So, and another thing is, it's tough because the crew has multiple Donatos, which I know you're not as big on anymore. But it's getting better the more I just fucking eat it because yeah. it's always free. Yeah, it's literally just becoming fine again. It's also not hurting my stomach because I'm having it more. So yeah. I absolutely love Donato's, um, as you know, but... I almost brought you one, but I didn't know. Oh, it's okay. I couldn't make it in the special way, so I didn't think you'd want it. Oh, it's all right. But Cincinnati, on the other hand, has La Rosa's in there, so mm. that's tough. Yeah. Um, but I know, I don't know. There's, we're talking about food first, okay? So they also have Skyline, which sucks ass. Skyline's terrible, yeah. Okay, you're going to freak out because people go one way or the other. I don't it understand ass. why people like it at all. And it's a very Cincinnati thing, so it's easy to hate. Oh, yeah. Rosa is a very Cincinnati thing, but unfortunately, I love it. So, and in general, I don't hate Cincinnati. I like the Reds, the Bengals, as I've talked to you about. I don't hate them; just a lot of their players that they mostly gotten rid of. Mm-hmm. But you can find out more about our feelings in sports on uh, Pig Skin Over Pizza. Bingo. Which I probably should talk about at the beginning of this is going to be after this. So, to, well, we're filming a day, it tomorrow. yeah, a day after hearing this, it should be up. We did a little out of order this week, but because of Cody, <laughs> was it because of Cody? Actually, no. It's not even remotely because of Cody. I didn't think so. But yeah, I was I just like, feel like him. All right. That, I mean, I get it. But um, I love you, Cody. I really do. I feel like that's twice, or it's twice in two weeks that I've like shit on Cody. Probably not enough. But I love him to death, and I want that to be known. That it's all in joking fun. But where that's the fuck do they all you? say? Mm-hmm. So their stadium is super nice. Um, it has this cool design around uh, the whole. Are you looking it up? I am. <clears throat> okay. I'm a I'm a big uh, visual guy. The whole stadium has this really cool LED screen that goes all the way around it, so it can change designs and stuff. Like um, at the top of it, or like the whole thing. The round, like the uh, around it, because it's not. It's only covered at the seats. It's not total dome. The field is uncovered, so. Have you seen the Falcons team? Yeah. Is it like that? The big LED screen in the middle? No, not. Okay. This is on the outside. This oh, stadium. fuck me. Okay. Yeah. Is it TQL Stadium? It is. not. A, also not a great name. Not as bad as Lower.com. No, but not a good name either. Um, So that's cool. I think the uh, Cruise Stadium looks really unique, though. I like the way it looks. I think so that kind of. It's just different. I don't know if one's really better than the other. They're very different stadiums. As far as watching a game, the angles were amazing there, but they also had the crew. These stadiums are so new that it's hard to find a bad seat. Um, I will say their supporter section, which is equivalent to Nordeck here, they call it the Bailey, which I'm, I feel like they just want to be the Broncos. They made their colors white, blue, and orange, and they literally named their supporter section after one of the most famous Bronco players. So... Champ the Stamp? Yeah, Champ the Stamp Bailey, as they call them. So, it kind of makes it easier, hate it. Are you looking at it? Yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. Yeah. Does it actually light up this color? Yeah, it doesn't look that vibrant. There's not that extreme, ridiculous yeah. spotlight, like the lost hatch coming out of there, but a little more accurate. Um, so, it's cool. There is there is something weird with... uh. The old crew stadium, it was the first stadium built in America specifically specifically for soccer. So that's one of the reasons they built a new stadium. And one of the things that was worse there was the sound was so outdated, the sound system. You could barely hear their announcements. And at the new stadium, it's almost like too loud, which is awesome because you could see energy going. But this stadium is just as new, and it sounds like the old crew stadium. I don't know what the hell they did, but it was weird. And then... The stadium was sold out. I think it holds 26,000, which is a little more than the crew. And the crew probably had 1,000 fans there, which is pretty impressive for an away game, even though it's only a couple hours away. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> but still 1,000 opposed to like 25,000. Mm-hmm. And somehow they were out cheering and making more noise than these 25,000, which I don't really get how it's happening. I feel like passionate crew fans are really passionate. And if you're willing to travel for a Columbus soccer game, you're one of the passionate ones. And I feel like this might just be me. A lot of people just go to soccer games because it's something to do. Oh, that's the majority of it. But the supporter section, which oh, they have theirs. Oh, okay, okay. wasn't crazy? No, I mean it was, but 
their supporter section holds just a little less than the crews like at their home stadium. Mm -hmm. So that alone should have canceled out any noise we could have made. And then you have like 24,000 other, 23,000 other fans making additional noise. It is weird. And I thought maybe it was just because I was in with them, so I'm hearing it more. But a lot of crew fans are talking about how they were watching on TV and they could hear just crew fans. And they think that they're just being biased. But a lot of Cincinnati fans were complaining, saying they were watching on TV and wondering what, where their fans were, which is even more they're crazy. All listening, apparently. <laughs> Asshole, if you care, you can be there. Which is even more crazy because yet again, the crew went down two to nothing. And I guess I should probably go more into this on the sports podcast, huh? Probably, Since I, yeah. yeah. So I'll leave it there. Well, you can finish the game at least. Okay. They went down to it. Sure, fuck it. Leave it there. Tune in to, on the next one. Yeah, I you can started look online, doing it. And then, but... Yeah, I started doing it, but I realized I didn't even talk about the other the game before this yet because we recording out of order. Oh, boy. Yeah. It's throwing me off. So that was it. Wow. That's the worst ending to a story ever. Yeah, so it's going to be weird to tell that whole story again and kind of figure out where I was at on the next podcast. But um, Fuck it. We have to be over there when we're eating pizza, talking big skin, and soccer. So then I drove home from Cincinnati that night after getting La Rosa's, of course. All right, in the middle of the game when they went down 0-2, <laughs> everything just ended and you I was done. Home. It's like yeah. a true Cincinnati fan. Oh, yeah. game's over. And that's not even just in reference to soccer. It's just Cincinnati fans. But um, so then I drove home, got my La Rosa's, and then woke up and drove back to Cincinnati to go to Kings Island. Mm-hmm. And I was debating going because the forecast was the opposite of what we had. It was supposed to rain the entire time. And if you looked hour by hour, it's going to rain every hour. But I looked at the radar, and I was like, this does not look like that. So I feel like the radar is more accurate. So I was like, you know what? I'm going for it. And we were supposed to have like 40 people from work. And I was like, these people are bailing. And there ended up being 10 of us. Still a pretty good show up. Yeah, I mean, a pretty big drop-off, though. 30 yeah. people. <laughs> I feel like you get 40 people, only half of them are actually committed to going. <laughs> so really, you have half of what you said would. So that's pretty good. And it was fucking awesome. It was... There was only rain for about an hour, and I'd never seen the park this empty. Nice. We didn't wait more than 20 minutes for any ride, and most of them were under five minutes. It was fucking bonkers. It was so beautiful. Nice. A lot of the rides we went front row and didn't have an issue. So can't complain at all there. Sounds great. Yeah. And then you're talking about how it's been a weird week. I also spent some time not in the ER, ER but waiting in the ER with Danielle. So um ended up not being anything too serious, which is good, obviously. Yeah. But spent a whole lot of time there and... And ER, the ER is a weird thing, seeing all the people coming in with their different... Yeah, it's an interesting world in there. Yeah. They're very minor, exaggerating, extreme things, and the people you see, and it was, uh, it was something. There's some minor stuff going on. You see people coming in with, like, some head wounds and shit, just bleeding all over the place. Uh-huh. Yeah, it is so, all over the place. It's a weird world. It is. <laughs> and I'm here for it. I'm here for it, as the kids say. That's what they say. So that's good, Daniels. Well, she's probably not feeling better, but... Yeah. Nothing too serious? No. So, yeah, good news there. Bad news is work um, won't stop playing. You you were there for a little bit. I was. The music... Three full days. The music is... There's a variety of it. I don't even remember it. Well, there's a, usually a decent variety, but over the past few months, they find this fascination with Pitbull for some reason. Wow, because he's, he's been there, done that. And, yeah, he's been there, done that, covering and remaking songs and making them way worse. And that's 90% of his popular songs are just remakes of songs and they make them worse. Mm-hmm. And so they just play him probably 15 times a day. Sounds awesome. There's a Pitbull and radio on Sirius XM. Do you think they're just playing that? It feels like it. It's like Pitbull, two songs. And then, Mr. Worldwide. And, oh, shit, here we go again. And he has to tell you Mr. Worldwide every fucking song and use it multiple times. And uh, you know if you search Pitbull on Google, he comes up before the dog. <laughs> Did you know that? I didn't. I fucking hate it. Do you remember the scene in Four Year Virgin where he's talking about if he hears that uh, Michael McDonald song one more time? He's going to burn the place to the ground. Remember that? <laughs> I do. 
that's how I feel every time Pitbull comes on. I'm just like, oh my fucking god, I can't do this anymore. Well, good news for you, I have Sirius XM now, and every time you get in the car, which is rare, I'll, I'll give that. I'll, I'll put it on for rare. you. I'll, <laughs> I'll put it on for you. I'll, and your I'll road trip it. would go on. I'll offer to drive even if it's out of country. <laughs> I'll, I got. I'll it. go overseas. Pitbull. I'll drive that shit. <laughs> I got Pitbull radio though. Oh, okay. And Y2 Country, the best country music from 2000 to 2012. Mm. Speaking of Y2, should we talk about things we forgot about from the week before? Awful. Why? Yes. Do you have anything, sir? I was actually here last week. You were? Oh, my God. I, was, I just skipped over this one thinking about it. I was actually here, though. I feel like there was. Fuck me. Let me look at my notes. I don't know. Okay, I can start mine so you have a second to look. Okay. <clears throat> when we were talking about the Switch, I can't remember. I know you read the article, but I don't know if we talked about how there's a 64 gigabyte um, memory card in it. I'm guessing we did. It should have been in the article. But I know even if we did, I did not talk about how that was another improvement over the other Switch. But again, I feel like that's another thing. That, that big of an improvement? Yeah, that should already been in there. I remember when the first Switch first launched, I was like, are you fucking kidding me? A 32 gigabyte? That's all that's in there? And so, doubling it isn't bad, but I think another thing should have been there, if not bigger. Yeah, it needs to be way bigger. Yeah. I had to go, and granted, they're not that expensive, but I had to buy quite a large one. But I yeah, also buy everything digitally, so. They're not that expensive. Well, everything has to be installed anyways, though, so. Oh, that's true. Yeah, so, you're screwed either way. And... They aren't that expensive, but I think more so, I don't think the common person just knows how, like if they've already started using their Switch and knows how to transfer everything, especially because majority of, I mean, not the majority, but a lot of people that have their kids and they have no fucking clue what they're doing when they go transfer that kind of stuff. Yeah. I know why you just like swap it in and copy stuff over. You have to put in your computer and all that jazz, which isn't hard if you know what you're doing, but we kind of take that for granted because we know what we're doing. Um, And then I had... Actually, that's for correction. So that's it for me. I didn't see anything in my no. All right. Shots. Well, you can go to corrections, question, and feedback. You have anything there? Woo! That last host you had sucked. Ah! <laughs> it was me. Uh, no, I don't have anything. Did you want to add anything to that? Why he sucks? Uh, he was just so attractive. I couldn't like pay attention to the show. You're Are you talking to... about like the normal host? The normal host, yeah. I get that. The one with the hair. Both. Also, if people are listening, they <laughs> didn't realize that just, that's just awkward silence. And also, I mean, I'm the one with the hair, you know? It's kind of... What? But I have hair. Yeah, but it's kind of like when two girls have boobs. One cup? And, <laughs> kind of. Okay. I was going to talk about cups. Oh, okay. Um, like, every girl has boobs, but if one's like here and one's like here you'd be like the girl with the boobs I think people know what you mean probably yeah so the guy with the hair he would both pretty similar he's a little longer well mine's it's not about the length it's about like the girth yeah about the girth yeah alright I got you <laughs> the only corrections I have are <laughs> when I was talking about the free games last week almost a month oh I do have one go ahead it is, I had a couple of dates wrong. So Planet Alpha, I said that it would end on July 15th. That is a lie. It starts on July 16th and goes to July 31st. And Rock of Ages 3, make and break, I said the same thing. It would start on July 15th. It also starts on, or ends on July 15th. And out starts on July 16th and ends August 15th. Okay. You think by now I'll get used to being able to get these dates right. Yeah, but fuck it. That's why we have this section, right? Yeah, I was going to say I'll repeat that later anyway, so, yeah. Um, you had something you said? Yeah, feedback. Yes. Um, Trying to feedback, yeah, you got it. Um, you do Xbox and PlayStation? Yeah. Do you ever consider doing, like, the Epic Games free-to-play games that they do every week? I have thought about it. I just don't pay nearly as much attention, so I feel like okay. I see them. gold in there. No, gold is for Xbox. Oh. <laughs> There's some good games is what I'm getting. No, there is some good ones. I have mentioned a couple times, but that's the reason because I know that I do these ones without even really thinking now. And um, Epic, I know I'd forget most times. 
Okay, just something to but, think about. But yeah. There's a lot of PC guys out there. Epic. That's it. What other one it. gives out free stuff? Steam sometimes. Sometimes, but they're not weekly. I think Epic gives away two games every week. Yeah. Just something to think about. No, I got you. Because in my about what it. I've been playing is from. So. Okay. Maybe All right. Think of it. That's it. I got you. We don't have any emails this week. We do, but we're not going to do it because Cody might come back at some point in time. That's right. So I'm going to figure out if he's not going to be here next week, then we're going to do it. So okay. whether it's you or somebody else. Or you solo. Oh. We'll see. Oh. oh. <clears throat> so if you have any oh, corrections, questions, or feedback, you can send. To currentbackloggers at gmail.com. I didn't know I was supposed to fill in that part. I just thought, see if you would, you know. Yeah, no, I got you. I was just in the middle of excusing a burp. Speaking of burps, should we get some news? Yep. Such a good transition. Let's do it, buddy. Yep, this is me. That sure is, Palio. <clears throat> we might be a little scattered on news today because I got some stuff. He's got things that he actually sent me. And I don't... Here, I'm going to do some feedback while you're looking at that. Why don't you do some feedback while we're looking at that? I don't appreciate how you... Ooh. Okay, it's immediate feedback. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, Mid-show, you criticize... My segues. Oh. They've all been really good so far. Yeah. So why are you criticizing? I think it's because I couldn't do better, and it's like I'm jealous. I get it. Speaking of jealousy, let's talk about IGN. Oh, see, that's a good one. Thanks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> IGN can exclusively announce... Why is that important? <laughs> Nickelodeon All-Star <laughs> Brawl, a new fighting game featuring characters... From all Nickelodeon, including SpongeBob SquarePants, Rugrats, Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja Turtles, Ren and Stimpy, and much, much more. I added a lot of words there. All Star Brawl will also feature 20 levels based on Nickelodeon shows uh, and will include single player and multiplayer modes with local and online support up to four players. How do you feel about this? Good. I was like, I saw it and I was like, oh, that's going to be corny. Like, it's going to be childish for sure. But it kind of looks smashy. It looks exactly like Smash, actually. Yeah. Which I am all about ripping off Smash with Nickelodeon characters. I'm for it. So it makes me want a Xbox to do this. Bad. And I think they will eventually. But uh, I think it looks really fun. I can't wait to be SpongeBob being up. Wait, you think they'll do what eventually? An all-star game like this. Like oh, like an game. Xbox version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, is like PlayStation Xbox has one. Then? Right, because they have all their characters, and then yeah. Nickelodeon has one, which I guess is... I just feel like Xbox has enough IPs to do it. <clears throat> Chief versus Marcus. Yeah, I was I was curious how you'd feel about this, because I think it's going to get a lot of hate, because it's clearly ripping off Smash Bros. Definitely. But I don't have an issue with that at all, and kind of for the reason you allude to, because we don't really have ripoffs of Smash, and Smash is awesome. There's PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale, which was but, awesome. Oh yeah, it was and really underrated. And they copy off of Smash completely, but they also had their own kind of twist on it that I thought was cool. Yeah. And I didn't get think enough credit. And then the only other one I know of at all was a really small early Xbox Live arcade game called Small Arms. It was decent. Well, it was mm -hmm. good for what it was. So X Xbox had its own. I think there's uh, one called Brawlhalla. I, that's a battle royale, right? No, I didn't think so. I thought no, it was a I fighting game like it. this. Oh, uh, maybe. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is. It's like a. Oh, I'm gonna sound like a really idiot if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure it's one of these. It's not possible. I've played it. I don't remember it enough though. So, oh, go ahead. No, no, no. you were you're talking. Um, so I think it's really cool to have this because Xbox gamers don't have a game like this, and let's go back to Small Arms, and there wasn't a big audience for that, and not much substance to it. I liked it, but it, it was what it was. And even um, PlayStation All-Stars was fucking awesome, but it was underrated, and they gave up on it, unfortunately. So I don't think most PlayStation gamers even know what that is. It's like a 2D, cartoony fighter okay. game. Just like That's Brawlhalla, by the way, for you guys that are watching. Um, so I'm really excited for it, and I obviously love Nickelodeon since I was a kid. Um, they had more of the characters than that reveal, but I don't want to make you list everyone. There's a but, shitload, and they said there's many more coming. 
As I say, I hope there is, because the Nickelodeon Kart Racer was also a thing that exists, and the first one, the issue with that was you could tell they somehow, even though Nickelodeon was a part of it, they had to pay for licensing or something, because there was like 10 characters, and like six or four of those were Ninja Turtles, and that's like half your cast right there. Yeah. So that was one of my worries, but it already seems like that's better, and it was a lot better in uh, Kart Racer 2 for Nickelodeon. And then it says there's 20 levels, which I think is a very fair amount. To start for sure, I bet, yeah. I bet it becomes more. So they didn't say anything about crossplay. I think that would be pretty vital to a game like this, just because the audience is going to be so small. I feel like that was my so. big worry. I really hope it is. It's coming out on everything. Yeah. So I actually don't know that I saw a PC on there. Yeah, I think it was just console. I wouldn't be surprised it does come PC. But I don't feel like it said it. Game releases this fall, and the trailer only announces it's for console formats. The developers said on the studio's Discord this was an omission and that the game's lead platform is PC. Oh. oh. So their lead thing they were hoping for is on PC, but they didn't even fucking mention it. <laughs> Danny Phantom, Invader Zim, Flapjack. Dude, this is going to be a real monster. Ah, real monsters. I feel hey, like Cat Arnold. Dog needs to be in there. Cat Dog makes he, so yeah, much they sense. Weren't, they weren't mentioned. But yeah, they do. The double-sided thing could be you could do so much with that. Yeah, it, there's so many good things. I'm I'm super excited. And another benefit to this, I mean, trophies are achievements, which is something you don't get on Smash, and would always be a motivation. Um, so I'm really excited. It's weird to think about this. PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale was the first Battle Royale game, even though it wasn't what we know as a Battle Royale now. So it's funny to think about that. And now Nickelodeon All Stars. Literally took the other part of PlayStation All Stars and made it All Stars, so everything is just feeding off each other in this weird thing. Kind of like Halo was the first Warzone, and now nobody knows Warzone was in Halo because it's always so massive with Call of Duty. Kind of weird how these things work, but no, I couldn't be, I couldn't be more excited for it. I'm still, I'm wondering how solid the game will be because I think it's a lot easier to make a kart racer than it is a good, like a really good Smash Bros. People were freaking out. I don't Ludosity? know. Ludosity? Yeah, people were freaking out. They said that it was made by the same developers made Slap City, I think is what they called it. I don't know what the fuck that is. Okay, I'm, I thought I was losing my mind because people were freaking out there. Oh, shit, this game is going to be good. And, um, yeah, Slap City. People were fucking freaking out there. I thought it was going to be some shitty developer. I was like, I don't guess I'll trust you guys because that meant nothing to me. Yeah, it couldn't mean less to me. <laughs> but... Hope There's another fucking about. website, Switch, Series X, Xbox One, PS4, PS5. Hmm. It's coming fall. That's pretty soon. Very soon. There's only not a single thing about PC in here. If it's not PC, I'm, I'm not going to buy it, which sucks. Actually, that's not true. Because you'll have your Series X by then, and it's coming out for Series X. I won't have my Series X by then. Why not? Because I'll get it when Halo comes out. Well, that's going to be the fall. No, it's going to be Christmas. What what date? Mm, I don't know. In the 20s. Really? You think they're going to do it after uh, Black Friday? Yeah, they're not going to they're not going to fuck with Battlefield, which I think is what October, and they're not going to fuck with COD, which is November, and they're definitely not going to fuck with Forza, which is November. They would they Forza is the one I'm for sure they're not going to do. So I think it either comes out in October or December. Because they I don't want like two big releases in the same month. It'll fuck with sales. I'd be shocked they don't do it before Black Friday because it's such a big sales thing. But yeah. especially I'd be shocked that they wait till all the way till like late December because then you're losing almost all the Christmas sales. Well, that's a holiday. Okay, so maybe teens. Maybe early December. But yeah, I was, th- I was thinking. Because I, f- I don't think they would release a shooter that... I think Xbox people are excited for it. But I think Call of Duty and Battlefield will, for some reason, be bigger. And I don't know if they want to... They, they're going to compete with it, obviously. I don't know if they want to do the same month. I, I just really don't think you want to release in the same month you're releasing one of your other main exclusives. So maybe they'll release in October. That would make sense, too. I just find November a weird day. I don't think they would do that. And for some reason, when I think of fall, I think of November. So I feel like this game comes out in November also. It would also be odd because I'm sure they they know the anniversary with Halo, so I feel like they're going to yeah. want to try and hit that in November. 
But well, they wanted to release it last year. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know if that matters as much to them, but we'll see. I I would be shocked if they did in November, but I've know nothing. So. Yeah, like I said, even though I wanted to come out last year, I always thought it was going to be fall of this year. So I'm still sticking to that, and I'd be surprised with anything other than that. I think I'd be most surprised if it was in November. I would be least surprised of. Well, now, now I think October more than anything. But my guts is December. Because mm-hmm. Phil Spencer also said he has them, he's giving them like a multi week. He like doesn't, they haven't set a date yet because there's like a six, seven week thing of like, oh, there's this window. We're just making sure of some things before we give the exact date in that window. Like it's not like a multi month window, which is nice. But it's like a some week window of like it could be. So I guess it could be November, it could be December, it could be. Yeah, because Call of Duty doesn't have an official release date yet, right? It's November. They already said it's coming out in November, I think. Well, you have a no date. Not the date, so. Because that's why I'm not too worried about them not releasing a release date yet. So I feel like they were waiting for Battlefield and Call of Duty, which we know Battlefields now. Yeah. But we don't know Call of Duty. And I think that's the reason because they're trying to figure out when to put it in that time frame and still make it make sense. Uh, yeah, yeah. Got to think about Forza too. I don't know. I just don't know. I feel like they might not be worried about that. I could see them releasing two exclusives even in the same month just because such different audiences. And they're both going Game Pass day one, so you don't have to worry too much about sales. They're just most, well, not most people, but a big part of the audience already has both of them by default. Maybe. And with Halo being free to play, I guess, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it seems weird they would release both of them in the same months. Because I would definitely not play, I want to play both, and I wouldn't play one of them because of that. So they would literally lose. I guess time is money, so. Release me. I wouldn't even look at Forza, and I really want to play it, so. I hear you. Anywho, screw it, ladies, I'm excited for Nickelodeon All-Stars. I hope it comes to PC, and I hope it's crossplay. Yeah, I think that's the biggest thing. I don't know why it couldn't be. It isn't like there's a advantage. I would never touch a keyboard and mouse with that game. It isn't like yeah. there's a, maybe frames being able to time hits and shit, but this game doesn't seem like that. I don't know. It's not like it's going to be the next esports style or anything, so I'm assuming they don't care that much. With Smash, I think it would be crazy to make that yeah. crossplay, but this feels like a game that could easily be that. I feel like there would be news on that. Nick O Lo D Own All Stars Crossplay. I'm reading. I'm sorry, people that are listening. Give me an open mind and believe the new title could be a legitimate competitive experience. Go ahead. Give me a competitive game. I'll get way too into it. Give me a fun game. I fucking dare you. <laughs> Let me get addicted to this game. Pre order information is Target releases this or has a release date of August 5th or October 5th. That means nothing, but it could be something. October 5th. That's for Nickelodeon? Mm hmm. When does Back for Blood come out? All these games, that's the issue. July, with or, or, I thought it was this month. No, oh, no, it got delayed a long, oh, did it? A, while, a while ago. October 12th, which is good and bad, because that's awesome to have it during Halloween, but very close to all the games we're discussing. It's going to be crowded. It is gonna be cra- it's going to be a, a tough August through December. That'd be a fun game to stream for Halloween time. I would play the fuck. Wait, Back for Blood? Yeah. It's on Game Pass too, right? Mm-hmm. Day one. Better be fucking crossplay. Man, like some Xbox doesn't work. Like, I need these games to start being crossplay. Uh, it doesn't say anything about crossplay. But October 5th might be a thing to look out for. I'm reading the news. I need this out. So that's that. Speaking of October 5th, let's keep talking about IGN. Damn. Thanks, so you're man. almost getting good. me. <clears throat> Ghostwire Tokyo has been delayed into early 2022 in order to protect the health of those working in the game on the game. Oh god, more of this. It's been in the news so much. Killing people to make games. Announced on Twitter. Tweet tweet. Uh developer Tango Gameworks thanked fans for their patience. What is Ghostwire Tokyo? Should I know what this is? It's a PlayStation exclusive and it's uh another um 
Bethesda, no, no Bethesda published game that's uh, exclusive oh, to PlayStation. This is what the people were freaking out about that Microsoft owns them and they're mm-hmm. still making PlayStation exclusive. Well, this and Deathloop, they're both PlayStation exclusive. I thought Deathloop was. Oh, it's coming to PC. Yeah. I like that PlayStation exclusive isn't a thing anymore and that most of them are going to PC also. I literally get the best of both worlds at this point. Uh, I'm promised to show more of the supernatural action game. I'm already intrigued. Our new release window will give us. The time to bring the world of Ghost War to life as we've always envisioned it. It's Bethesda. I'm out. Well, they're just publishing it. They're not the developer. I don't know what developer Bethesda is actually making it. can't remember. It looked interesting. I haven't seen much for it, but... Tango Gameworks? Yeah, that's it. I think you said that earlier. Yeah, I, I did. Know. Yeah. I mean, I, I, literally, I literally just read it and I didn't even remember to say it, so... Yeah, they're, uh, gen. yeah, that's why, unless I get on PC, which I doubt my PC can handle it, I can't play unless I have PS5. I bet you could. I think so. Yeah, dude, I've been reading about, like, super awesome budget builds. Your CPU is incredible. Well, it's good. You have a 1700. You don't know. You do. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I was going to go along with the tactic I did. I thought you had a 27, but I don't think you do. But a 580 is a super good budget. I bet you could run it. I bet you could run more than you think you could. Okay. Um, I want to watch this reveal, but it's not the time for it. It's super. Oh, this looks like Prey. With incredible graphics. Holy shit. This looks interesting. Yeah, I'm just not a Bethesda guy, I found out in my life. So. You like the Evil Within, right? No. no I, I like the idea is, of it. This is the same studio that made that, and... uh Shinji Mikami is the executive producer. I know he's a massive name in the game industry. Me and Cody have talked about this before. Have you ever seen Tango Gameworks logo? No. Is it terrible? Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is awful. I didn't know about it until he said it. And he's like, you got to look it up. And I was like, holy fuck, that is awesome. That has never been up, dude. <laughs> well, um, you want to hear something crazy? It's only 11 years old. Seeing if it's never been updated. That came out in 2010. It feels 2010-ish to me. It does it? Yeah, maybe maybe 2000s-ish. Maybe <laughs> MySpace days or something. Yeah. Um, I like the idea of the Evil Within. Those type of games, the same reason why I didn't like older Resident Evils. There's a point where you just run out of shit and the game's too hard. <laughs> I don't like it. I hear you. But the game atmosphere is fucking sweet, and the monsters are sweet. I actually watched somebody, my roommate, play through all of Evil Within 1 and 2. <laughs> Yeah, you might really hate this game then because Shinji Mikami is known for starting Resident Evil or being a big name in Resident Evil. He also did Dino Crisis and uh, Vanquish, which I've been meaning to play Vanquish. I hear really good things about. The newer Resident Evils vibe with me more than the old ones because they don't look uh, as hard. They're just more scary. Not just they don't look as hard, they're not designed nearly as frustrating because of fucking tank controls. Yes. I'm all, yeah. So I'm just learning more about my gaming self these days. I feel you. I want to like games like people with him. I want to believe. I want to believe. Speaking of wanting to believe, do you have any more news? Yeah, I sure do. I want to read this post from Games Radar. Uh-oh. Oh, I have a couple more things of news. I thought this was the last one. The first season of HBO's upcoming The Last of Us television series will consist of not one, but ten episodes. <laughs> Did it say that? No. It's going to say, who the hell thought it would be one? <laughs> uh, writer and producer Craig Mazin, Mazin has confirmed, as flagged by Culture Crave on Twitter, tweet, tweet, Mazin broke the news during a recent appearance on the Script Notes podcast. The Chernobyl creator, is that show good? I need to watch it. I actually haven't seen it. It looks fucking awesome. Yeah. I heard really good things about it. I really need to watch it. Chernobyl creator also revealed there are only two directors left to be announced for the last of a series. Are they doing different directors for each episode? I didn't know that, but that's what it sounds like. I thought he was the main guy, but maybe he's just, like, overseeing it. As of now, we know Ali Abbasi. Oh, God. From Shelly and Border. <laughs> <sighs> There's a lot of people. Um, given the Last of Us TV series we told through hour-long episodes, this means the first season will be about 10 hours in length. That's good math. Neither Mason nor the series co-creator, Neil Druckmann, have revealed how much of the Last of Us story will be told in the first season, but it's fair enough to presume... Nope. Assumption. It's a fair enough assumption that the events of the first game will play out in Season 1 with a potential second season telling the story of Last of Us Season 2. Or just the game 2. Alternatively, uh, <coughs> it's possible that the writers will stretch out the story into several seasons. That's what's going to happen. 
Yeah. Um, they're going to fall away from the actual story of Last of Us. They're just going to make their own thing. The I, same thing with Game of Thrones. I could see... I think the smart thing would be do something in the middle because I think you can tell the story of the two Last of Us games and stretch it out way more than the games did because there's so much gameplay in between there that you obviously don't need so you could tell yeah. a lot more story in there. And I think if they're smart, you could... I think the most interesting thing about the last trust you don't get to see is everything else in the world and what happened, how it fell apart. So I think they could do it and justify it too and not make it seem like they're just trying to waste time or find a fill a space. But I'd be curious to see how they do it. I'm sure they'll take a lot of them. I think I think the first game will have a lot of influence. I don't know, but I didn't even I at least know of the first game. I I don't I know nothing but that bad things about the second game, so Oh, it's really good. It was, I, I hear it. I mean, it won Game of the Year, so I'm sure yeah. it has some sort of good. I heard a lot of horrible things also, so. Yeah, I I think there's a fair argument to make if you don't like the story or you're not a fan of the game, but I think the shit those people are talking about how is one of the worst reviewed games and <clears throat> like um, on Metacritic by users, and those reviewed under games you literally never even heard of. I know... Gaming is subjective, but I think there are some things about their objective, like games, how they run, and how they perform. And there's just no way that this game could be that bad if you're just like actually reviewing the game. You could hate the story in person. I think it's a you didn't enjoy the game. That's where the most thing I've heard is the story sucked. I uh, yeah, I don't even agree with that. But if you do, I could see that. But if the reviews do not line up with being a under two like the. <laughs> The yeah. user score was that's just fucking bonkers. I think the game got a bad rap too, wasn't it? Like buggy or something? I didn't see any of that. I oh, know. Oh no, shit got leaked. That's what it was. Yeah, a that bunch was... got leaked and it pissed people off beforehand, and then they got bad reviews when it came out. That's yeah, I just stayed away from that because I didn't want it ruined. And then I know there's also a big issue because when that got leaked, they figured out that one of the characters, um, well, they dealt with uh, transgender stuff, so. Sure, lost yeah. their mind about that. Time. Yeah. Yeah. I heard the story wasn't great. And then the things that got leaked were huge. So it doesn't, doesn't necessarily matter. I'll never play them because I don't have a PlayStation. So sad because I feel like there's I've played last more of the rally. I couldn't yeah. get into it. I remember you saying that. Just can't. That's how I. This was a Bioshock game for me. I um, rented Bioshock. I mean, uh, The Last of Us. And I was enjoying it, but I felt like I never played a game before. I was so fucking bad at it, and I was just like, I don't know what I'm doing, and I feel like I'm not even playing this game right. So I gave up on it until I got a PS4 and got the remastered and gave it another try and fucking fell in love with it. Yeah, I even played the remastered version. I don't like story games anymore. Odd. <laughs> uh, speaking of sadness, let's talk about Battle Royales. Decent one. Um, this is about Warzone, isn't it? Yeah. For Battle Royale, it's a case of innovate or die. Warzone's in the worst fucking state it has ever been in. We can talk about that after this. With several big-name competitors in the free-to-play genre, studios have been updating their games or risk losing players. Activision's latest offering for Call of Duty Warzone crowd is an objective-based mode called Payload. No one's excited about this. Everyone hates the idea of it. In a first for the game, the mission will be added to the rotating playlist as part of a Season 4 Reloaded, which comes out today. Tonight at do you have it in here oh at midnight tonight yeah you do um tonight being wednesday yeah. the 14th bingo um payload splits players into two teams of 20 that are tasked with either escorting or attacking vehicles transporting satellite satellite parts each team must complete their objective within the designated designated time limit as usual, you can use custom loadouts or kill streaks uh, to help your side clinch victory. They'll also be able to buy and build obstacles to stall the vehicles on the track. Um, see it in here. You can also call in armored vehicles with fucking uh, armor on them and turrets on it and shit. And it seems kind of cool, but no one's excited about it because the game's in a shit state. The setup so, doesn't. Oh, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry, let me just no, let me finish. The setup doesn't seem all that different from the types of uh, protect or destroy missions available in Rockstar GTA Online and Red Dead Online, though fighting off parachuting assailants or bombarding heavily armored tr armed trucks through multiple checkpoints does sound more frenzied. Yeah. Uh, for its part, Activision is pitching payload as a crucial battle shift that can shift the balance of the war between Perseus and NATO. 
story shit that no one cares about. Uh, as for file sizes, Warzone update will range from 8.9 to 9.2 gigs, which is tiny in comparison. So, before I talk about it, let me ask you this. Do you respond in this, or is it like Battle, or battle Royale? Or you're you'll, you'll respond, probably. That's, uh, I had a feeling, because if it's 20 on 20, that seems like it end very fast. No, I better say whoever gets the objective first, and you keep responding. So are we just getting to the point now where these Battle Royale, because Warzone is supposed to be separate from the multiplayer, like the competitive, whatever you want to call it? Yeah. I feel like it's just morphing in. No, no, to... no. This is a totally, this isn't Warzone. Warzone is still a separate thing. This is a mode. In Warzone, though, right? It is Nine. a, well, every Battle Royale does this. It has, Fortnite has a 50v50. PUBG has a deathmatch version. It's Warzone is a battle royale. This is called Payload. That takes oh, no, place that's, on Verdansk. Yeah, that's what I mean. Not Call of Duty, the only one doing it. I'm saying all the battle royale games, I feel like, are adding modes to slowly make it like back into objective and closer to deathmatch games than battle royale. Like there's, They add these for like two weeks. It's not like permanent things. And it's not even in Warzone. So, like, people will, the 99.9% of people will play Battle Royale. The 0.01 will play this tank mode. That but is it, a totally separate thing. It is in Warzone, though, right? It's not in Call of Duty like it is in Warzone. It's not. Well, I think they've morphed into one. But it is, if you go to Warzone, it is a limited event in Warzone. Yeah, I just feel like this is closer to what the base Call of Duty is. Like, I feel like this would make more sense, like, in. This is just for people that, yeah, probably don't have Call of Duty. Yeah. Yeah, every battle royale has like these limited modes that they think people will like, but nobody ends up liking them. But... Yeah, I think it sounds interesting. I always thought you could do more with battle royale, so I don't have an issue with them. Just saying, I feel like it does go farther back, but I don't have an issue with that. I think um, this one sounds like I like the idea of doing different stuff. But this one doesn't sound like the most exciting thing, but we'll and see a lot it. of the stuff they're adding. So like, that's what it's it, it is in the game war zone but it's its own playlist like you don't go into battle royale and then go down to payload you go down past like custom versus bots to payload and some things <clears throat> from that like they have armored tanks or armored trucks in war zone that they have to keep taking out because it makes people invisible um but like you can drop things from the sky i don't know battle royale is still its own thing this is just like a oh Here's a big battlefield type thing. I'll probably play it once, but actually I'll probably never play it if, if I don't play with you guys, so I will literally never touch it. I don't even want to play Warzone right now. It's in the worst state it's ever been, unfortunately. Is that going to change when this update comes out as far as you, you know? I'll play, because there's a new SMG coming out, I'll play Cold War to unlock the new SMG until they figure out what's going on with Warzone. I can't play Warzone. It, it's every game is a hacker... Every game is uh, some sort of glitch. It's just not fun anymore. And the only thing I can play now are solos because nobody really plays it anymore. Cody's busy. Nick moved to another state. Um, so like I just play myself. And solos is already one of the worst gaming experiences ever for Battle Royales. Fortnite, it's fine because there's building aspect. Warzone is just there's 150 people sitting in corners of buildings. And it's just, yeah, I'm not patient in Battle Royales. I can't sit in a corner. I want to go get kills. It's more fun to me that way. And solos are a miserable experience. And on top of that, there's a hacker in literally every game. I played, the other night, I think I played seven games and five of them had hackers. It's not bad. Um, it's just awful. There's an invisibility glitch. There's a glitch you can get under parts of the map and shoot people from. The weapons are in a bad state. Like, all of the weapons feel the same. There's no, like, it's just in a, not a good spot right now. Which is sad, because the game is so good. And it's so fun. And it's just they don't seem to give a shit about it, which is sad. And it's crazy, because it's making them billions of dollars. Which is probably why they don't give a shit. No, they're going to make their money either way. Yeah. Is this something, because you play it so much, and you notice all these things? Or if, like, a If a you and I person? played... In two hours, we'd run into multiple hackers. If I wasn't with you, would I am be I would notice it? Probably. Eh. Because there's something to the skill base, too. Because KDs, usually hackers have high KDs because they're getting 50,000 kills and no deaths. So usually they're in higher lobbies, but people 
the other thing is they'll make new accounts. And so someone with you who probably is like a level 40, I'm like level, you know, thousand and you would get in the newer lobbies and they make new accounts and they're in the newer lobbies. So I guarantee you'd run into it. Be miserable. But you also playing a console. I think when you look for people, it prioritizes console. So, um, I don't think you find them as much. You're not playing with as many PC people. Um, there was a report that the company that makes all the hacks was making them for console as well. Um, but apparently Activision sent out a cease and desist or whatever and made them shut down. Uh, but that didn't stop the PC one. I hear this last week they had a free trial on cheats. So it was just the worst thing ever. I really want to play. I really do. Because it's like my favorite game. I just can't. It's awful. It's sad. It's sad. So I've been playing other games. And I played Cold War the other day because I wanted to play Call of Duty and that's all I had. I hate Cold War. That's all I had. It's like it's... <laughs> I know, it seems sad, but like I just, I love those type. I love Call of Duty games. And the only one that is playable right now is Cold War, which sucks. I heard if you play Modern Warfare that that runs really well now. Like the uh, original one. Modern Warfare, like from 2006? Or? Yeah. I have been playing Modern Warfare 2. I was going to put that in the... Uh, oh, yeah? I was joking, so I heard... I'm sure it's an exaggeration, but I heard people are just, like, flying around the maps and using oh, superpowers. Yeah, and... no, it's not even a place you want to be in. If you, if you get into the wrong Modern Warfare 2 lobby, all your shit's gone. Like, they'll delete everything you've ever done. People with... That game is just even on a worse level with hacking. But no, I've been playing Modern Warfare 2 in my living room. It's been pretty fun, actually. It's giving me the God. nostalgia feel. So that's that news that you wrote down. There's some other things that we had screenshotted. Are you going to go through any of yours? I was looking. I'm not sure if any are worth talking about me. I'll see if I can get articles for next week and make a match worth talking about. Okay. So I'm good. Well, I'm going to note some of mine. I'll go for it. Battlefield 2042 crossplay details. This is a big deal. Xbox Series X, PS5, and PC players can play together. We knew that. What we didn't know is that PC and consoles can opt out from playing with each other. So we can choose to only play with PC people, which we would never do because we want the console people. But consoles can choose to never play with PC people, which is nice. Can you filter out the Stadia people? They won't even be here. So, yes, it's already done for you. And then Xbox One and PS4 players can play together. And Last then, Gen and Current Gen cannot play together. What about Ouya? I think that's already done as well, whatever the hell that is. <laughs> yeah, one's literally shut down. Um, so that's something. That's some news. Um that you can opt out, I guess. That's good to know. Raspberry Pi? Mm-hmm. And that one? Nope. That always sounds dirty. Um, in Halo news, um, there's been a lot of Halo news coming out. I didn't know what to put all in. But this one, you know, when I marked it, there's a pinging system for multiplayer. Do you like that idea? There's, like, a debate in the Halo community. Yeah, I could see why. Um... I don't have an issue with it. I think I feel like people are having an issue with it because it seems like it's trying to be Call of Duty or something else. But the reason I don't have an issue with it, I just think it makes sense for the people that don't use their mics to communicate or people that don't like talking. It should be a standard in all first person shooters at this point. I think. Because people don't play with their headsets and how many times have we been playing fucking Halo? Hey, there's a sword on me, I don't want it. Where? Oh, it's down here. Just let me ping the sword, and you can go get it. Yeah, I feel like that's probably why the debate, and I could see it because Halo is so about like learning the maps and doing that, so I feel like that's probably why hardcore Halo players don't want it because like, well, we know where that's actually play it. Well, yeah. But, but I think that helps uh, newer players learn. Uh, yeah, I, th I think yeah, it's pretty split on the veterans, but I think people, a lot of people I read that don't like it because it's going to, it depends on how much information it gives. Like in Call of Duty, you can <clears throat> ping someone, and it's a live ping, and it'll follow them for a couple seconds. Like, that would suck in Halo. Like, if I ping an enemy and he goes into a different room and I know he's there, that ruins a lot. With a big battle royale, that's kind of fair, I think, because if it's 600 meters away, oh, he's right there, he's gone in two seconds. In a map like Lockout or something, that's pretty vital information that you're getting way too much of. So I think it just depends. If you can ping a spot, like, oh, they're over there, ping. Or, oh, there's a sword right here. Ping. Did it say you can do it with anything? 
to say on there? It doesn't. Well, let me see. It doesn't say a lot. It, that's what people are like scared about: is how much information is it going to give? I think it it's going to be great for like flag, like catch the flag and oddball and. Yeah, because I'm wondering if it won't even do enemies at all. If it's just yeah, objectives and weapons and. And I bet it does, but I bet you have to like double ping. You know how you can double ping in games and it'll like make it red. There's just enemies over there. Because I think Apex started respawn. That company started this. Yeah, they were the first ones at least that I know of. But I'm just wondering if it is non anything that's non players because like you said that does kind of ruin the like the whole point of Halo is like getting in the room and crouching, hiding yeah. there. So I'm wondering if they are purposely gonna stay with that away from that unless huh. maybe certain modes. I could see it being uh like big team battle maybe that they have that in there. Mm-hmm. Or maybe have it off by default, and then custom games you could do it if you wanted. It's gonna be on, but it's gonna be on. It's gonna be in the game. Well, I'm saying the if they don't do player uh, tracking, then you can maybe add that on in custom games. I I want to doubt they'll do. Enemies, and maybe you can double ping and be like, "Oh, there's enemies over here," because. Like, oh, I saw him over there, and it's just a red marker as opposed to a yellow one. Like, it, because it, in, in Apex, you can hold it and be like, oh, I'm looting over there. I'm going over here. I saw enemies over here. Like, maybe they'll have something like that. It's just so people that don't have mics can communicate. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think it all depends on how much information it gives. But I think pinging should be a, a staple in first person shooters at this point. It's just so useful for people that don't have mics and just to communicate. Oh, I saw him over there. Bing. I feel you. Bing, bing. You said that was the only Halo news you had? Um, yes. Because no one's talking about it. I don't expect IGN or any big websites to post about it. But I think it's weird I haven't really seen anybody like in any Facebook groups I'm in or anything talk about it. Did you see um, Halo... The Halo official Halo account on all their social media has updated their cover photo to say uh, multi- Halo multiplayer and have like all the Spartans off there. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that might just be nothing. But I think with obviously it's only a matter of time till the the flight test starts up, which is a beta of the kind. Yeah, which testing. is supposed to. Be, I heard it's supposed to be in the next couple of days. Yeah, and. So I'm surprised more people aren't talking about it. I guess even it wouldn't be too crazy if IGN or big websites post about what the fucking sh- some of the shit they talk about on there. This isn't that crazy to talk about something like this, even if it is just kind of like, oh, who knows what this is. It's but, weird. Yeah, I feel like they have to know posting that that people are going to read too much into it and overthink it. So if, they, if it's not that, I think it's a mistake to change it for no reason. Yeah, it's not for no reason. Yeah, and I mean, we're getting... We're getting up there unless this game truly is getting delayed, so there's going to have to be a beta sooner than later. It's got to be. Yeah, I mean, did you sign up for the flight test? Yeah. I hear they're prioritizing PC first because mm. they wanted to see how it runs on the best systems or something. But you boys got one of the better systems. I hope I get in it, man. That'd be fucking nasty. I thought they would want to see it on, like, the worst systems first. Like, see the Xbox One dudes. Maybe they want because they know that Xbox people are going to be, like, the main... Big Halo fans, maybe they want to run best in there, like test on PC and yeah, probably if there's bugs the way. There, yeah. yeah. Um, do you think this means or, it's going to be separate? No, I don't think so. I'm still on that boat, man. I'm. I really hope not. Terrified. I I'm mainly afraid we're going to get the campaign first. I'm fine with getting the campaign first, but I'm going to be pissed to play because I'm playing that the first night, and then I'm done because then I won't have more Halo to play. Well, if it's like they're saying, there's supposed to be this massive world to explore and all kinds of missions, so yeah. it might not be like the old Halos. Hope not, man. I just hope it's not separate, but I have a feeling it's going to be. Um, do you have more you want to talk about that? No, that is interesting, it. though. I didn't notice that. Um, I have a couple more things. Not if it's that crazy. Um, we talked a little bit about Call of Duty, the Season 4 Reloaded. Um, that's tonight at midnight, Wednesday, July 14th. So I guess it's Thursday, July 15th at midnight. So, uh, there's a new multiplayer map called Rush. I think it's an old (coughs) map, actually. Paintball Arena. Yeah. Um, some weapons coming, some new blueprints. The new weapons are, well, the new weapon 
is the OTS-9. Oh, and Mace, which I think is a melee weapon. So those are the two, th two new weapons coming. There's a new zombies thing for you zombies nerds. Uh, Miar Deer Toten. Don't know what it is. Don't care about zombies. Don't watch it. Don't care. Did um, you used to love zombies? No. I, no. I liked zombies in World at War when it first came out. It was the only thing I did. Um, but ever since they introduced stories and pack a punch and upgrades, I don't. It's so fucking confusing now. Speaking of perks, the mule kick perk is coming back. Um, that segue was too good. Don't do that. What? Oh, sorry, 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 yeah, sorry. That one just made sense. That's not how I do it. <laughs> sorry. <clears throat> um, really innovative modes called Capture the Flag is coming to Call of Duty. Hmm. Whatever that is. Um, there's a Rush 24-7 mode, the new Warzone mode payload, um, and a mode called Blueprint Blitz, which I don't know what that is. So that'll be interesting to see what that is. I hope it's something you drop in with random, pay with random blueprints into Warzone. I think that'd be cool. Yeah, you build stuff, and Ooh. you can make stairs, or... You can get, uh, like, brick, maybe, or, s or metal. You can carry, like, a big hammer, or, like, a... a, a what is it? Like a pickaxe, maybe? Yeah, pickaxe, oh. and... Is I don't know. I I just think of weird stuff like that. I should be a game designer. Mm, that doesn't sound like it would ever work. Uh, speaking of working, um, NBA 2K has announced their cover. I eh, know it wasn't a good one at all. NBA has announced their cover photos, or their cover athletes, <laughs> including Candace Parker, the first woman cover athlete in the history of NBA 2K. Pretty cool. Um, there's also another edition. There's two more editions, so it's not as cool that they didn't make it the only edition. I think that's kind of a dick move. Like, hey, congrats, you're going to be on the cover, but there's also going to be other editions with different covers, so don't worry. Is she an assistant coach or a WNBA player? WNBA player. Do they even have WNBA in here? I think in this one they do. Oh, I was going to say yeah, that yeah, makes yeah. No I think fucking it's like the sense. first one. They, they, yeah, see, here's the cover. Um... I think in this one they do. It's like a big deal. Another one is the Goats edition, which is Dirk Nowitzki, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and Kevin Durant. Of course they'd put a modern person in there, right? Not Labrum. But he's everywhere, so fuck him. Um, and then the last one is MVP uh, Luca. So he was MVP, right? We talked about that? I think so. I don't yeah. care about basketball at all. but I just thought the woman part really is the only part I cared about. That's pretty cool. I don't know where the Cavs version is. Kind of fucked up. Uh, you, it's coming later. Um, That'd be the NBA Live cover. Oh, shit. Also, speaking of Call of Duty, since we were just talking about it, uh, Double XP Weekend this weekend, July 16th through the 19th. And my there. last bit of news. <clears throat> You'll be there? Probably not. Yeah, definitely not. <laughs> um, I will be upgrading the new gun So in Cold War. Um, Splitgate crossplay beta is officially out as of yesterday. It was running into crazy problems with servers, but they seem to be stable as of today. And I, again, am recommending that everybody downloads it on anything that you play on, including it's, Mac and Linux. The official release date was the 17th, right? Isn't that what we said? I think this is beta, so I'm, I'm not sure. But this is, you can download the, the beta, crossplay beta starting right yesterday. Starting right yesterday. I like that. Oh, July 27th. So, so that's later. the official. So I don't know how long this runs, but you should definitely download it. I had my seventh right, just not the right one. There's a line here. Yeah. He's scary. He's hanging out. Um, that is all the news I have, but please download Splitgate. I'm with you. I, I want to play it more. It's still incredibly fun. And I think more players are going to benefit it. So that is all the news I have. All right. Anything Should else we... you want to hit on with that? or? No. Maybe uh, next week we'll have some more. Okay. Any media pickups? No. I don't Me buy either. Anything. This is where we need Cody. It's going to be... This is the Cody part. It might be real bad. Either he's saving a lot of money, oh, or no. he's going to come back whenever he does and be like... I haven't seen the Instagram post, though. Yeah, I've seen a was, couple, but... Maybe he's buying something that he doesn't have time to post pictures. <laughs> he's like, all right, let's do this two-hour two hour segment. Or he's so busy with work, he doesn't have time to post. I think he's doing OnlyFans, and that's why you he keeps saying work. Yeah. Mm pictures of his feet and i think that because i'm on the highest tier wow i didn't know there were tiers i think so i didn't know that sure sounds like there'd be a thing yeah i feel like it's pay like for the Patreon. premium edition yeah, yeah. 
anything about Patreon either. Cody, let us know. I know you got one. Um, Sorry, I have to adjust the mics. I, I set up. I don't have any media pickups either, so I can get into what we've been playing, and I can make that quick because I played nothing. You even played a single video game? No, it's sad. Yeah, I'm not proud of that. I said it a couple of those, but it is what it is. This week will be different. Will I said it? that last week. Yeah, I think like so, well. but... I tried to get you to play games with me the other day. You told me to fuck off. Remember that? I did passive-aggressive, Derek. I have been playing <laughs> some mobile games. Pokemon Snap. And this game... Pokemon Go, that I have right? to, Yep, that's what I meant to say. Pokemon okay. Go, thank you. And this game that I have to open to see what the name of it is. So sorry, it's opening. It's on Apple Arcade. Do you subscribe to that? Uh, I get it free with Verizon. Oh. Is it worth Ultimate it Rivals. No. There's Heard some good thing. games on there. I'm glad I have it for free. I would never pay for it. But I'm happy to have it. Um, Ultimate Rivals, The Court. It's a it's a 3v3 basketball game like Jam. Um, but with um players from a bunch of different sports. Like on my oh, team Jesus. is Russell Wilson, Kevin Durant, and I think he's an NHL player. Um Otani. I think he's a pretty popular at one also. Otani. He's a baseball player. Is he? Maybe he's a baseball player. Whatever. I don't know my sports for being doing a sports podcast. Yeah. But Joe Kick is in there. Oh. Labrum's in there. Juju's a bunch of football players. But there's a shitload. Of, he is a baseball player. Um, you're right. Oh, no. I don't want to unlock anybody. But, yeah, baseball, basketball, hockey, well, Seth Jones action. Um, I think soccer's in there. It's pretty cool. And it's just like Jam, and it actually runs pretty fucking good on your phone. Yeah? Yeah. Um, Seth Jones might be a traitor, but we'll talk about that on the... Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, we already talked about that a little bit. Yeah, there's a little more news. Oh, no. I like Seth Jones. Maybe because it's the only one that I know. Um, yeah, Otani is definitely a baseball player. I know you said that, but I'm more so saying that because I've talked about him multiple times. So, see, that was another case where I was like, I think yeah. he is when I know he is because he's the one I told you about that... Or maybe I was talking to Trevor that he's a pitcher, but he uh, is... At least was had the most home runs in the yeah. entire league, and he's a pitcher. It's fucking, yeah, I know he's pretty popular. Too. Yeah, and sure. he's a good pitcher on top of that, so it's fucking crazy. There hasn't been anything like that in a long ass time. So he did something crazy the other day. Was it for the All Star game? Probably. I didn't watch much of it, but God, we're terrible with sports, even though we do a sports show. Um, so I've been playing that. I've been playing Splitgate. I played Call of Duty, like I said. Cold War, not Warzone, because it doesn't even deserve my time right now. Um, Cold War is upgrading shotguns. I'm trying to work on camos, I guess, since there's nothing else to do. Played some Fortnite. I've been getting, I've been getting back into the fort. Pretty heavy, yeah. It's kind of similar oh, to that shit. game you were describing. Yeah, I just realized when I did this that yeah. that's where I got my uh, unique idea. It was Fortnite. Yeah. Uh, I've been getting back into that. It's sweaty town, but it's fun. <laughs> They should rename Fortnite to Sweaty Town. They have a place called Sweaty Sands. That's even more to, gross. Anyway. And they used to have uh, signs all over the place um, called Sweat Insurance for insurance against people who <coughs> are sweaty. They make a big joke out of sweats. Um, I think I'm one of them. I'm not good enough to be a sweat, but I also am definitely better than the casual player, so I think Guys, I'm a sweat. I just run around in my mass cheap outfit yeah. you know, and look at your Harley Quinn. Yep, just from behind the whole time. So I've been playing some of that. That's been fun. Uh, Split it. Balloons. Dude, have you gotten balloons yet? Not yet. Please. <laughs> it's not on the summer sale anymore. It's still worth it. What is it now? Like $3? I don't care. If it's $30, it's worth it. Did you buy worms? No. Because I said I wouldn't pay that price for it. I was pretty upfront it's about $10. that. It's $10. I was pretty up- You want to give me $10? I'll buy it tonight. Give me $5. I'll buy it tonight. You pay for half of it, I'll do it. I have no interest in buying it. Um, oh, what the fuck was I just... Balloons? God, I beat... So I've been, I've been going on hard now. And I've been beating the levels. I've made it so far. I'm getting way better. And I love it. It's so addicting. The other night, I only played that. You know how I like to say I've been playing split game and then I'll relax with balloons? I played it for like six straight hours. I love it. I almost spent did, more money on it on my phone. Did... Have you ever played Plants vs. Zombies? Yeah. You said you're comparing it. Do you like it? Yeah. 
Not as much as balloons. Balloons are way better. <laughs> How dare you? Astronomically better. You ever play Garden Warfare? I feel like you liked that if you... I didn't. That's the like the shooter version of it, right? Yeah. Third person. I think it's I on EA. Like it. Yeah, we should try it. Sure, as long as you try balloons, I'm down. Whatever the price is, it's it's not enough. They're not charging enough for it. I think you can even get Neighbor Veil, which is the newer Garden Warfare. Along with Bloons TD6. You yeah, take it's it a away combo from package. Get Bloons. Um, and Splitgate. Um, and then I've been playing this game that was free on Epic Games called The Spectrum Effect. Is this about being on a spectrum? Like, is it a no. simulate? Okay. It is a fucking weird game. Uh, it's a puzzle game. Is this like the internet company? Nope. Not with them either. These are good guesses. Um, <laughs> one's a little offensive. The internet company. I was going say, that one's more offensive. They're both a little. Um, it is a puzzle game with colors. That's where the spectrum bar comes in. Um, you're, you're basically stuck in a hotel time loop, and you're trying to break a cycle before something happens. I don't know what something is yet. Um, but it's kind of like this futuristic, everything's on its, on a cycle and like, you're trying to fit into the cycle before you get caught. Um, but you go through these <clears throat> motions of loops and then at the end of one, you have to solve like a 10 thing puzzle of colors, which sounds stupid when I say it out loud, but like, it's a fucking pretty hard puzzle game. Um, but basically it's like a, I don't even know why you have to do it, to be honest with you. Um, but you get to the end of the loop, and then you're doing these puzzles to learn something, I guess. I don't know. It doesn't matter. You're learning more story as you're doing the puzzles. I, I don't, I just, the puzzles are so fucking hard that I have to think through those. But they're like not hard enough to, like, oh, I need to look it up. But they're definitely not like I can just plow through this. The first few were, obviously. But it's pretty fun for being free. I'm not sure that's free anymore, which is sad. 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 That's another thing why I don't do it. I can never find, I'm sure there's a website that does it, but every time I look it up, I'm like, I don't know when they start and end. It says it on the Epic Game Store. It ends in two days, 13 hours. It does it to the second, actually. I want to be able to go to a website, you know, and just be like, give my, give my the notes. Game, Epic Game Store right there. Yeah. Literally right there. And it'll just not, tell you. There's two games on there right now. Not telling me. And there'll be two more games next week. Then I'm two, looking at it. It's not to telling just me. Open up that oh, store. Okay, I got you. Um, I think a lot of people would benefit from that information. Um, I want to make sure that's all I've been playing. But the Spectre check effect is pretty fun. I don't know if I'd ever buy it. it. Feels like a good Game Pass game or a free Epic Games game. Um, short-ish, seven hours, seven. But it's pretty fun. How far are you? Probably five, oh, which wondering. is crazy because I don't play single player games. That one sounds like he's telling a great story, though. It is telling a fun story. I just the puzzles make me forget the story. I have a shit memory anyway. The story is interesting. The c- closed loop aspect is cool, and the world itself built it, it is incredible. Everything's like a robot. They don't have eyes or anything. It's just like a mouth, like a speaker. It's like all black and white, kind of. Like the main is, the colors are black and white, except for. When you go into the puzzles, they're like multicolor. It's cool. I okay. um, I feel like I did a horrible job explaining it, but it's cool. It's a fun game. It's fun enough for me. Okay. I've been having a lot of desire to play other games, mainly single player games, but mm-hmm. I know that doesn't mean. Oh, and I, I started playing Prey again. I got past that part. You were playing Prey? I was playing Prey. Um, I got past that part. By staying on the same difficulty? Yep. And did he stick with it? Like, I did. For yeah. like another couple hours. Mm-hmm. I made it past that part. I made it past a couple more parts. Got some badonks. That's achievements. That is achievements. And uh, <laughs> I'm at a spot where I saved, and I'm in a good spot. I have med kits. I have bullets. I have new guns. Look at you. I always believed in Making you. Making it happen. The game's longer than I thought it was. I have a problem with games that are over like six hours. Over. So well, you're not gonna be able to beat your other game then. Your spectrum your spectrum test. Well I'm gonna go down and be on the spectrum tonight, probably. Be close yeah, to I had a it. feeling. Yeah. I'll probably almost finish it tonight. The puzzle, uh, it all really depends on the puzzles. Sometimes i I'm pretty good. Sometimes I'm pretty fucking terrible. And I'll well, mix mix it up pretty bad. When you're on the spec when you're playing Spectrum This is really <laughs> 
<laughs> I think I'm going to do comedy gold here, and you're not really going along with me. Uh, I need to see something really quick. <laughs> uh, Are you see through? Not, they're not the right green. No. It's uh, sod. Um, Prey, I made it past that part. Spectrum. I think that's all the stuff I've been playing. You're going to keep playing? You're going to keep praying play? <sighs> yeah. In little spurts, I think. I'm not like... I need a game, man. I need... So here's what I learned. I need a game <laughs> that I can sink my whole body into. VR. Uh, I do like VR. I wish more people were able to play VR with me. Oh, I just meant for sinking whole no, body. No, I get it. I just oh, I forget Jesus. if I have one of those. Um, Warzone was that for a little bit. I, su- I sunk everything into it until October, and then I quit. Then Nick started playing again, and then got back on. Now he's not playing. Or he is playing, and he just <laughs> has shit internet and can't invite me, which is fine, too. Um, but I'm assuming he's busy with a new job and a new life in wherever he is. Right now he's in Hong Kong. No. Nope. Um, Tallahassee. Nor is that. Uh, Somewhere I don't know. Uh, Europe. Um, that's not it. That's not be ridiculous. That's definitely it. <laughs> no, that's definitely it. Um, I just, I want to be, I have these weird itches that I need scratched. Almost none of them are story related. Almost all of them are competitive related. Yeah. So I need a competitive game that I can get good at, but also that people play with me. Small arms. No. I hear it. the community is raging right now. Um, so I'm looking into learning new games like League and Valorant and uh, games that I'm just probably trying to shit on. And who, who's going to play these games with you? Uh, the assholes on the internet. <laughs> Is that well? You can get any assholes to play games See, on the internet. Warzone though is so much worse. People just quit in the first two seconds. You, I just can't rely on anybody. Randoms and I try, and everyone's a dickhead. Everyone is a dickhead that plays Call of Duty. I know what you can sink your time into, and it's with a good friend. Splitgate. I'm down for that. But I've already been playing. We could do a franchise now. Hold on. In NHL okay. on the same team and take on the fucking league together. Can we play online? You at least used to be able to, so I hope so. Yeah. I think it'd be fun, and how like I'm sure it'd not be good, but we get better at it. I think it'd be like really energetic and fun when we score. Definitely. Yeah. Why the hell not? I don't know. Um, <laughs> but when Halo comes out, that'll scratch my itch. I'm assuming when the new Call of Duty comes out, the new Halo, uh, the new Warzone integration, maybe they'll surprise us with an anti cheat, <clears throat> and the game will be playable again. Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon, that'll definitely scratch a, an itch. Back for blood. That's not going to scratch much for me, which is sad. I'll play it because Sam will really, really love it. Um, cause she was like a me and her when we dated, played Left 4 Dead 2 like multiple times, so she loves Left 4 Dead. Um, but we'll, we'll we'll definitely play Back for Blood. I'm just not going to be like ecstatic about it. Do you think they should do a Left 4 Dead expansion, Bill? Back for Blood expansion and call it Black for Blood Ooh. and have a cast full of black people you just... going for blood. Oh, you took that different. Yeah, that'd be a good selling thing too. Well, I'm saying like, so these black people yeah. are the Crips and they're going for the blood. I'm letting you do all this talking. I'm not going to. Sure. Dude, I'm I'm safe. People like to go back and go through people's social media. You can go back to my first tweet. You wanna know what it was? I love black I wish I did that just so I could be like, see, I do love black people. I said on my first tweet. No, but it was tweet, tweet, like you said earlier. Tweet. That was my first tweet ever. That's so what are you gonna find on me? You gonna you no, gonna I'm dig just... a tweet tweet? Tweet tweet. You could probably dig up a lot worse than that, but I'm just gonna act like it's innocent. Definitely. <laughs> um I'm sure the FBI has records of all of our Xbox party chats. And I'm sure there's some not so great things in there. Um, yeah, I think your idea is good. I think maybe just like an expansion, like a Left 4 Dead expansion. It's not actually called Left 4 Dead. You look at it. I feel like you said my, good, my idea was good and then abandoned it and started talking about something else. Yeah, it's else. an awful idea. That's mainly why. Harrison. <laughs> um, that's rude. That's it. That's it. I forget what else we're talking about. Oh, I just need a competitive game. So, 
Nickelodeon will probably scratch that for a little bit until I get bored of it. Because I don't know how long I can actually play a Nickelodeon Smash game. Maybe forever. I don't know. Um, Halo and COD. I don't even think I'm going to save Battlefield. I know what's going to happen with that game. This looks incredible. This game sucks dick. 20 seconds. So. I hear you. That is it. So that's what I'm learning about myself. I need a competitive game. And honestly, maybe if I had the competitive game, I would be, it'd be easier for me to go back to the other games. Like the single player games. Because I know I have that competitive. Because I don't really have a game right now. Do you think it'd be much harder? Like when you play Call of Duty, you didn't play single player games. But at least I, but then I would have a game. I just need to but know that I have a game. Wouldn't that take up more of your time and maybe. be your I game? Know. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> then you need to be honest with yourself. I don't know. Maybe. There's going be times where I get too mad. <laughs> maybe your competitive game has been there all along you didn't know. Madden. Shadow Run. I've been, I want to remake. And remake. I've been seeing that on Twitter lately too. Well, People maybe we go back and play Shadow Run. Shadow Run. Server. Yeah, on Xbox. You know what I found? 360. Yeah. I found my... Um, Madden regional qualifier jacket. Garage. You gonna rock that next? You should wear that tomorrow. Uh, the show. definitely not. It's, uh, a small. I'll wear it. Good. I washed it too. I think on that is our middle state regional for Madden 18. That's me. That's what I did. I qualified regionally. That's all you've been playing though. Yeah, which is actually quite a bit. And I think tonight... Not as much as me. That's true. Tonight I'm going to play games. I'm really excited about playing games. Oh. Um, I'm probably going to play some Spectrum. And then... I don't know. I, I, deep down, I want to play Call of Duty so bad. I just know I'm going to get pissed. <laughs> so I'm probably not even going to. I'm probably going to play Spectrum and Balloons. <laughs> Which is sad. That's where I'm at. Sad. That's where I'm at. What about Black for Spectrum? Hmm? So, oh, like that the game combining them? Yeah. Mm. Speaking about of Black Fortnite, I'm not gonna comment on that. That's blood. fucking racist. Spectrum. Speaking of Spectrum, have you been watching anything lately? Uh, I want to tell you that I watched Castle Rock. Nice. That was gonna be my first question. You I want. Asked. I want to really bad. You didn't say it on a podcast, but I was gonna come at you because you off the podcast. You're like, I am watching Castle Rock tonight after our podcast. And I sat down in my britches. All right, I'll be honest. It was in my underwear, on my couch with food, and I opened Hulu and I searched Castle Rock and I went to the first episode, and I saw that it was an hour long. God. And I was like, I don't know if I can commit to this right now. I was like, I'll watch it tomorrow. Well, that happened a while ago. How was it? I didn't watch it the next day. I'm like, oh, well, I got time tomorrow. How was it? I didn't watch it. And then I started working. <laughs> All right. And here we are today. I haven't watched it. So what else did you watch? Uh, I went to the movie the- theater. And I saw The Forever Purge. Oh. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Okay. The Forever Purge. Oh. <laughs> and it was actually pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. Much uh, better than the last entry. Last couple entries. Um, actually, as a movie in general, it's pretty good. Like, not even for, like, a shitty horror action movie. Dude, horror is very loose there. Um, it's just kind of a good movie. Kind of a good movie. And the acting is good? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Surprisingly good. Pretty solid. I, uh, I was pretty engaged. Like, I was kind of, like, on the edge of my seat, like, pretty into it. Um, I think what started losing me with the purge is there's, oh, well, it's one night and when it's over, it's over. You know what I mean? You just got to survive the night. And that's a cool premise for a couple of movies. Then you do it for four of them and it's like, okay, I'm done with this. But this one was the forever purge is we're purging forever. And, um, after the first night, the first night ends pretty quickly. Um, but then the rest of the movie is actually pretty like different. So maybe that's why I liked it more. It's just a different feel it's people trying i think this is all common knowledge at this point i'm not spoiling anything um but they're purging america <coughs> america is trying to bring back uh its purity kind of uh, non-white god-fearing americans they're trying to get rid of those people so um it follows a hispanic couple um it's good it's good okay. i liked it i would Watch it again. Sure. 
All right. So that's it. Good movie. I think it's all I've watched. It's definitely all I've watched. Some Twitch streams here and there. And then let's say you're the guest co-host next week. Mm-hmm. Well, I'd be like, how was Castle Rock? Definitely. 100%. Yeah? Yeah, 100%. Oh. I would say that. All right. Sounds good. See a uh, um, songbird. I'm going to say Skyhawk. See Hawks. See Hawks. Go Broncos. So I've been watching about the same amount of stuff. The only thing I watch is more Dave. Oh, okay. I am caught up till last night's episode, I think is when the newest one came out. And it's getting more back to normal. Actually, the first two episodes were the really different ones. I think I've seen two since then. And those are a lot more back to how it was. Okay. And very, very funny. Um, I think the... (laughs) Two episodes ago that I watched, I think might be too much for you. Okay. It's... Is it all like sex? Yeah. And yeah, very, very it. weird. But it was one of the funnier episodes I've seen. Okay. The <laughs> episode that was like all about the trying to suck his dick through a table in season one, that was like the worst episode. What about the last episode of season one? The rape episode. Um, Is that where he's making the music video about the rape uh-huh. or whatever? That carried on way too long, which I think was supposed to be funny, (laughs) and it wasn't after a little while. That was uh, the funniest episode that show for me so far, even season two. Yeah, that was the uh, worst episode. That was the craziest thing I've seen on TV in a while. I fucking loved it. Yeah, you have a different fairies of humor, though. I don't think sexual humor is very funny. But it wasn't just the sexual humor or how crazy it was. It was so clever on top of that. Everything you worked into there was fucking. It was kind of cool. It was nuts. It's also just grotesque for no reason. <laughs> That's why I don't like Borat. That's why I fucking hate Bruno. <laughs> Those type of movies, Dead Girl's not funny to me. I think I, I just have learned... Well, Dead Girl is a scary movie. I'm <laughs> sorry. That's why it's not scary to me. Um, I just don't like that type of humor. I guess. You like Jackass, don't you? And not really. Oh, really? I kind of do. That's something I forgot. Segway. Um, they announced the title for the new Jackass movie, Jackass Forever, coming to theaters October 22nd, and we'll get a trailer July 20th. The Forever Purge, Jackass Forever. Mm-hmm. I'll see the new Jackass. I've seen all the Jackasses. It's just sometimes I like it. Sometimes I, I've be, I've grown to be a pussy. So when people get hurt, I like. Can I fuck you? <sighs> sure. Okay. Um. But I think in this type of movie, it would be less about people getting actually hurt and more just stupid getting hit. Well, yeah, I doubt we'll see bones breaking. The part I thought you wouldn't like as much is the gross stuff. Like, they do a lot of nudity, or I think it's Jackass 2 or 3. The first scene is that beautiful looking volcano, and it pans out, and it erupts, and then it pans out more, and there's somebody underneath flipped up, and he just diarrhea oh, like straight diarrhea. up yeah, it. Yeah, that stuff's super gross. <laughs> um, I remember that, actually. <laughs> Um, no, some of the dick stuff's kind of funny. Kind of. I just think this, the stupid humor's funnier. Like the shopping cart shit and the jumping off stupid stuff. Building crazy things and then trying to jump through them. I don't know. Putting your dick in a sock and whacking it on someone. It's funny to me. Yeah, it sounds Tying a rocket funny. to your fucking dick. <laughs> yeah, these things are... Pouring beer into your asshole and then puking out of it. Yeah, I can't stand these things. <laughs> yeah. That's terrible. What else do they all? <laughs> Anytime they're fucking with animals' dicks. <laughs> these are all things I don't support and don't find funny at all. <laughs> yeah, I find like half of Jackass funny. Nutball's funny to me. I fucking can't wait. I'll watch Jackass. it. I'll go see it for sure. And there'll be things I don't like about it, but there'll be things I love about it. Jackass 3, I remember crying. I was laughing so hard. So there's definitely going to be parts that I like. I feel so. you. And then I watched Jackass 3 later in life, and I didn't laugh at all. Really? So I don't know what zone I was in my life when I saw it in theaters, but I was crying laughing. Hmm. I guess I hope I'm in a sp- sprite, sprite mood. Mm, I'll pay a sprite. extra mood. There you go. That's all I've been watching. Have you been reading or listening to any books? Mm. No. I'm still working my way through Console Wars. I'm about halfway through it. Still enjoying it. A couple things I'm not enjoying is 
how this man says Mario, and you can imagine a book that's half about Nintendo. Is it Mario? Yeah, he says Mario. And. Sad. Well, I know people make that argument. Like, well, they know how to say it because they're from New York, and that's where the name comes from. But. I think it's just how they say their A's. I got a good buddy that's from Philly. He says A's, like A-R's, just weird like that. Yeah, because I don't know how they argue it, that that's how it's supposed to be said, because. Super Mario, bro. He doesn't say I'm a Mario. That I'm sounds Mario. fucking terrible. Yeah. No, I think it's just an accent over there. Like people from Jersey and Philly should just say ARs as here. Well, I don't know about your friend, but I know a lot of New Yorkers and New, um, New, New Jerseyans. Jerseyans? Sounds like a slur. Yeah. I don't know what they are. Um, Jersey Knights. Um, the Devils. Hmm. I know they say that it's a New York word and they know how to say it. Uh, like, but they think they're right about it. Yeah, it's, it's fucking Mario. I say and Mario. My buddy says Mario. Me, I asked you this before. What do you call the guy, his uh, brother or cousin, whatever you want to call it, with a yellow hat? He's oh, bigger. Wario. Wario? Wario. Wario. Okay. Wario. Like war? W A R, war. Wario. But then wouldn't it be Mario? You don't say more when you're saying M A R. But he says, I'm a Wario. But when you go to war, you say right. war, W A R. There's no word for it. But then why does he say, I'm a Wario? Wario. People have different accents. People. Well, that's because you don't get accents. And people say things differently. And then the next one he says, this one's not as bad because Mario is so commonly used and Mario says Mario. But um, old commissioner of the MLB, Bud Selick, he says Bud Selick. And just. He says it himself, it's Bud Selick? Well, no, the narrator of the book oh, does. Okay, okay, yeah. The reader. He's um, from East Side. <laughs> Do they say Selick in the East Side? Maybe if he says Mario, he's probably. Well, some assholes just like to say it's Mario to oh. fucking... Nah, he's probably from over there. I'd be interested to see where he's from. Just yeah. like people in fucking um, England say aluminum instead of aluminum. Who just say that, shit differently? Yeah, they can go to hell for that. It's just what they say. It's not their fault. Well, they grew it's up their fault. No, it's not. We need to have a whole episode of Things We Should Admit where he's talking about pet peeves, and this is one of my pet peeves. Is Accents? Not accents. This is definitely going under the accents category because no. people don't know any other way to say it. So how do you say the silly city, not silly, the city in Kentucky where the derby happens? Louisville. But they would say it's Louisville, and they say it's not an accent. That's how it's pronounced. Well, they say, I don't think I have an accent, but if I go to Oregon, I have an accent. But they say that's not an accent thing. They say it's how it's pronounced. Like yeah. we're saying it wrong. No, it's because they don't think they have an accent. You don't think you have an accent, but you do. Oh, no, everybody does. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't think that's I why have one, I think I, it's uh, idiotic when girls are like, oh, I just like accents. Okay, so you like people talking? She likes exotic accents. I do too. English accents are incredible. Hungarian? Whoo! I think it's very. Irish. I think it's very dependent. I think it's really generalizing. Like that'd be like I like American accents. Australian. God. Yeah, but those you you know there's a difference between. Like, Australia has a primary accent. America doesn't have a primary accent. There's, like, an East Coast accent, a Midwest accent, Warsh. You the Warsh and Machine. You got your... Yeah, but... West, or your California private accent, I don't know anything about. England people can sound different all over based on where they're from. England's pretty fucking big. So, the UK has a accent, pretty primary accent. I like that one. British. British accent. Hungarian is different. kind of similar. And then Australian is super awesome. Very dependent, I think. Pretty pretty much all of Australia. <laughs> pretty much all, all those places. Just like America with the uh, Europe is so fucking huge. There are parts that are different, yeah. But uh, that's why you have to classify. Like, how oh, I like the eastern accent of, of America, which I don't. I think it's awful. Most accents from that side are terrible. <laughs> I think it should be an episode of Things We Should Admit. It's not. A pet peeves? That'd be a funny episode. Yeah. I have not. some weird ones. Yeah. Um, 
And it doesn't have to be like crazy or embarrassing. There can be side stories in these shows, you know? I think that'd be a funny episode. Yeah. I don't have that many pet peeves, actually. I think I have a lot. You do. <laughs> and they're very and you're very adamant about them. I only know one off the top of my head. I can't stand visors in cars. <laughs> And if people put them down, I get pissed. Like to block the sun from their eyes, a very reasonable thing to do. I will literally reach over and put it up if it's down for too long. I bet you if we start doing it, you just, I feel like people don't think they have a lot until they start thinking. Well, no, I actually, so, I actually think it's them because Sam has a lot and we talk about them often. So. And you think you only have. I have, a f- I have a few for sure, but the one I think of actively at the top of my head because it happened recently. Like, if you leave it down in my car and then leave, I'm going to be so fucking angry. Like, I'll be actually mad for a little bit. But you think I'm crazy for criticizing this Mario thing and Wario? For, yeah. <laughs> for accents? Yeah. But you just said you'll know, you'll know somebody's doing it to protect their eyes. Yeah, but I, if- I admit that it's that's odd and weird. You, you think you're in the right here with the accents. I admit that my thing is a pet peeve and it's wrong. Oh, I said I know it's a pet peeve. That's and why you I don't think it's wrong, though. You think you're, it's all good. Well, yeah, because he says I'm a Mario and I'm a Wario, so I don't really think that's like an argument kind of thing. I bet you could find him saying it in different accents. You find it. I tried to look it up. I couldn't find it. Okay. So I was like, maybe I'm, I'm crazy. Not search it. And every time, there's literally a video that I found of him saying I'm a Mario and I'm a Wario from every single game. That's, again, that's probably the correct way to pronounce it. But people have different accents, and that's okay. But we don't. We have the same accent. We have different accents. Well, then everyone in Australia has to have different accents. Obviously, everybody talks a little different, but yeah. generally so we I talk. So I say war instead of war. But I'm sure in Australia they say, I say this instead of that. There's Probably. very minor differences, but they have the same accent, you said. Yeah. So we do. We have the same accent, yeah. But I say <laughs> things a little different, and that's got to be okay. It's not. I can um, totally, it, that's, where I'm, <laughs> that's where I'm able to admit things, and you're not. Wario is probably correct. But I say Wario because I say war. W-A-R. I go to war. I don't go to where. I'm going to go to where. This is where. Well, I'll be war. I go war. Okay, I'm going to go to war now. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm 18. I'm going to declare for war. <laughs> I say war, and that's how I've always said it, so I'll be Wario. And I've, I think I've said Wario's name. This is the most I've ever said in my life, so... <laughs> You asked me authentically what I said, and I said Wario first, so. I probably could easily say where it, Wario. <laughs> Wario? I don't think you can. <laughs> Is that it, though, Wario? Yeah. I could probably start saying Wario pretty easily. Wario. I could also start saying Mario pretty easily. But Mario feels right. Wario. I could probably convince myself of that. Wario. Okay. I See- won't, because I say war. <laughs> But you can't do that with everything. There's plenty of words where if you take the first part, you don't say the same as you do in a full word. Well, that's what I'm saying. Authentically, you ask me how I say it. I don't say it hardly ever. And I said Wario. So I don't think... <laughs> now, hold on. I don't think I am crazier, just can't be I'm wrong, because... You have the... to get a little bit of you. No, and I can tell you why. Okay. I because I was listening to Sacred Symbols, a podcast okay. we talk about in here a lot. And they're talking about this predator that is like a cheetah and it starts with a J. A jaguar? Um, see, so I say jaguar. Okay. And that's not the right way to say it. Okay. So I know I'm wrong. I'm like, I need to, now I'm like, shit, I said it wrong. Just keep saying it the way you say it. Everyone knows what the fuck it is. I got to show you this bit they did. I they, don't care about that. They, cru- <laughs> they crucified this guy, and I was like, shit, that's me. That makes me like them even less. <laughs> no, I was like, I get it. It makes sense, but I don't, I'm like, fucking brain, I've said Jaguar, so and I hate it. So we should find what they say wrong and crucify them <laughs> by that logic. Yeah. No. That's, that's, you should just admit that you're wrong even more. Jaguar? That's not weird. What did I say? Jaguar? Yeah, that's fucking terrible. That's like how they say it Jaguar. overseas that's to right. sound Jaguar. fancy. Jaguar. Um, Jaguar. Now I if you say it quick, in... it's Jaguar. But it's not even close to spell Jaguar. No, it's, here is how it's supposed to be said. Jaguar. 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 Yeah, Jaguar. <laughs> you over and that's the you. <laughs> but now see, I, I can't... don't know how I say it. <laughs> Whatever I said the first time is how I say it. <laughs> I said it the other way. It's so weird now. Jaguar. 
<laughs> That's how I say it. I'm going to go buy a Jaguar. I think it also Jaguar. depends if I'm buying a Jaguar or if I'm watching the Jacksonville Jaguars. <laughs> See, saying Jaguars feels wrong, though. That's not what I say. Jacksonville Jaguars. That's what I say. See, I, that, I can't get on board with that at all. That's like a, a fucking fancy British way to say it. That's so much effort and so unnecessary. How do you say um, caramel? Caramel. Okay. Those are both you, right. I say caramel. You're a fucking criminal. <laughs> <laughs> They're both right, though. Actually, I don't know. One of them's probably wrong. <laughs> but I know what you're talking about, either way. Just like if you said Mario, I would know what you're talking about. If you said Wario, I think I'm in the wrong on that one, and that's fine. That's <laughs> just how I say war. Oh, I've noticed that's a common trend, even for people to say Mario. That's why I think it's weird. I'm like, if you say Mario, then you think you say Wario, and vice versa. Yeah, Wario feels really weird to me. Wario? How do you say it? Wario? Wario. Like Mario? That feels like work. because like I have to actually work my mouth. That's how I naturally do Mario Wario, you know? Mario Wario. <laughs> Luigi. See, this is why Pet Peeve episode would be fun. I mean, so I you get at least admit it's a Pet Peeve, which means you're, you know it's wrong. That's okay. Well, like I said, when it's reverse and I'm wrong about something... It just drives you more nuts, which makes it even more of an issue. <laughs> so the Pet Peeve, but it is, I am being fair, because when i am said something wrong, I'm like, shit, I'm doing it wrong. I gotta fix this. How have I said Why is fucking it the Jaguar? Simples have the end-all, be-all stance on Jaguar? Or words in general. Are they Christ? I didn't know that they <laughs> No, it's words. just, they're right about this one. Hmm. Are they? Jaguar. And I'd say I, you're going to start saying Jaguar? I told you. Jaguar? I'm going to see I... the Jacksonville Jaguars now. <laughs> Can't wait to go see them Jaguars with Wario and Mario. <laughs> <laughs> with the Mario and the Wario. Mario are they going and with Wario. <laughs> Go see the drug wars. That is so much worse than either the way we said it. No, yours is the worst by far. Even worse than what I'm admitting mine is wrong. Cause that's I think just... mine's right, though. No, you've been trained to think it's right because the fucking asshole ads they put here. You Jaguar. And fucking... I think that's how you say it. But that's an that's animal. Based off the before... animal. Yeah. I think they would. <laughs> what are you looking up? Nothing in particular. Should we get to the free games then? Yeah, just some. Okay. <laughs> Jag Jaguar. Yeah, Jaguar. That's See? awful. Hey, like Sarah, I'm wrong. Jaguar. I'm not... <laughs> See, they're doing a fucking British thing. Jaguar. It's awful. <laughs> Jaguar. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> you would rather say it like that than say it the way it's comfortable. Yeah, but I think I'm trained to say Jaguar, and I don't like it. Yeah, that's so much better than... <laughs> Jaguar. Jaguar! <laughs> Sounds fucking stupid. <laughs> Jaguar. See, that's the worst. I don't say, uh. I at least finish it with the R. Jaguar. I don't say that. <laughs> Jaguar. Oh. Taylor Swift says I don't want her songs like that. Jaguar? Yeah. And you don't fucking want to put her on a cross and watch her hang to die for three days? Well, here's a couple things. When she says it, it sounds a little sexy, but also... That's so fucking... Also, she says it because she's um, mocking a British man, so it makes sense, and that's why I appreciate it, because it's a fucking stupid British thing. <laughs> They're both right. Speaking of both being right, the free games for this week on Xbox Probably 360... Terrible. This one's pretty cool. Midway Arcade Origins till July 31st. Did we talk about this? No, that one. I, no, I added that on here. Right. <laughs> I know I make a lot of mistakes with this. And I admitted it, but that one's right. And here's right. the ones that I talked about earlier that I made a mistake on. So, Planet Alpha till July 31st. Rock of Ages 3, Make and Break. It really seems like it should be Make or Break till or August 15th. And PlayStation Plus, you have PS4. Call of Duty, Black Ops 4, and... Yeah, these till... Those are all month, I think. Oh, yeah, no, this I had the starting dates on here from last week. I didn't edit it. Call of Duty, Black Ops 4, and WWE 2K Battlegrounds yep. till July 6th. Nope. That's not right. I should put... I don't know what the end date is on those, so... Let's those, just say those are what's available. 
Those are what's available. Maybe or maybe not. And also Virtua Fighter 5 Ultimate Showdown until August 2nd. And PS5, you have Plague Tale Innocence. Yeah. Do you I hear that's an incredible game. That's what I've heard, too. I've considered playing it. Me, too. That's all I've gone with it, though. Just considered it. You should do it, because story-based. Maybe you that know, can be here. Well, I've installed it twice. Deleted it twice. You could play it and then quite tell quite the tale on here. I started Hellblade. I didn't even mention that. I played it so little. I thought you beat that. I did. Oh. Started again on PC. Today. Oh, again? Better. That's true. Can't, can't do it. It's so incredible. I can't play it. It scares me. Does it? It's not a scary game. Yeah. I don't think it's supposed to be a scary game. Maybe it's supernatural. I don't know. Um, the way they did the voices kill me. I, I can't sit in a room and it actually scares me. It's mm. awesome. Okay. That's it. You have any fake outrage? I don't know. Still you fully still... to understand how to do it. Well, I should have one ready this week. Okay, well, if you're here next week, I'll have one ready so you can understand it. Okay. I get the concept <laughs> of it. I just don't think I can do it. You can do it. He's gotta be... You know what? I am outraged at the way yes. you say Jaguar. <laughs> but you sound outraged by that, like for real. That's not no, a big no, it's because people like you <laughs> making a big huss of us about accents. I am outraged by that. But you are outraged by that. I'm not you? actually outraged. I think it's funny. And I think you have a problem. What's my problem, Jaguar? Jag Jaguar. <laughs> the Jacksonville. <laughs> I'm going to go watch my popular Jackson, uh, Tim Tebow on the Jacksonville. Jaguar. Jaguars. Go Jaguars. <laughs> Such a hick-ass thing sounding. <laughs> I'm going to go wash my fucking britches with my Jaguars in the washing machine. There it is. My washcloth on my ass. Anything else you want to say the crick. on here? You think Jaguars hang out in the crick? No, of course not. Yeah, okay. I don't think so. You yeah, Jaguar. <laughs> You caramel jaguar. Sounds like some racist term you just used on me there. It did. <laughs> it sounds like somebody calls somebody their mix, you fucking... Caramel jaguar. Yeah. I'm gonna leave your fucking visor down. Well, as always, you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, at Current Backlog, and you can email in corrections, questions, or feedback to... CurrentBackloggers at gmail.com. <laughs> I want to know... You guys should send in voice samples of how you say Jaguar. <laughs> if you guys do that, I'll definitely play them on here. Or Jaguar. So, or Jaguar. Now can, I don't fucking know how I say it. I think I said Jaguar that time. You can send an email, but I know some of you guys might know how to do that. So any of you that have me on, or Derek on Facebook or our numbers, you can literally send a voice message and we can play those say too. Say Jaguar. Say Caramel. Say Aluminum. Say Wario and Mario. Yeah, say Wario and Mario. And that's it. And make Siri say Jaguar. Yeah, and say Jaguar and Caramel and Aluminium. And Caramel. And you don't fucking say that. I do sometimes, actually. Yeah, I think it's so interesting. Yeah. No, I think it's an interesting way to say it. Why don't you fucking move there? I would, man. So awesome. So pretty. Yeah, you away from your precious little fucking sea dogs. I could still watch them overseas. It'd be the latest shit. Overseas. Dog. No, I want to move to Canada because I'd be embraced more there. The fuck's that supposed to mean? There's a lot of Seahawks fans in Canada because it's like close to the. Well, you're going to move to the opposite end of Canada then. That's where I would. I think that's where the good stuff is anyway. Toronto's right above us. Seems pretty dope. Yeah, I've never heard of it. You mean Toronto? <laughs> Over the Jaguars. Okay, I guess we're going. Oh, we can just shoot. Oh, oh my fuck. Um, I actually don't have a lot to talk about this week anyway, so maybe a quick episode. That's gonna be gone in ten seconds. Oh, so thirsty. Bitches be thirsty. B T B. There it fucking is. When he? What the fuck? When I came on you. Remember?
Did I do just that? No, I just came on you, remember? So you just did that? Yeah. When you are well, meow. Meow. I am fire. You're fire? I am fire. You're fire. I'm a meow. You're a And how I be here, meow. Well, And when he held in my eye, my meow. On this week's episode. What? Stop. I thought we were getting ready. I'm ready. Why do you say don't? I hate you. Go ahead. Why when do you say you don't, don't though? Well, I look like you're about to do the douche thing where I, where I was like the... Oh. Oh. So you get karma. What's the douche it. thing? I don't know. You. Oh. Myself. Yep. You got it. <laughs> Oh, it's big again. <laughs> already did it. My shocker's already cleansed. Right. Should we go then? I cleaned it in the car. <clears throat> oh. You gonna answer me? We can go. Oh, it's definitely picking all that up. Great. There it is, bud. <laughs>